You know, I've played a lot of games over the years, and I gotta say that you'd think after 13 years I would have kind of seen most of what is out there, you know? This game, when I first started it, I got like legit goosebumps because it just felt like something special. Anyways, all love support, you drop on this, greatly appreciate it. I was actually gonna try something on this video I have not done in a little while. How many likes can we get in the first 24 hours? I was gonna say 100,000. No, that's, that's way too much. <laughs> Can't go that high. How about 10,000? We'll try that. But if this does well, expect a full series. What I'm gonna try to do is just explore as much as I can, do longer videos for this if I am gonna play because there's a lot of world to take in. So, all right, love you all, best audience ever. I have two copies to give away, both for the Xbox Series S and X. If you want a chance to win, you'd like the video, leave a comment of your favorite space movie. If I had to pick one, I would probably go with Interstellar right now. That or Space Jam. <laughs> Not really count, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump in. I love you all. Let's get this. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Right, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave. Hide. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Pure eggs. A job like this in the United Colony? Huh. The red tape. Ugh. If you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. 
kind of letting all the dialogue play out since there's a lot of talking. We're about to be on our own in a little bit, but man, this has been uh, exciting to kind of see what this game's all about, you know? Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cabin. I'll shout out when I need you. One of the biggest things I've always seen people ask about this is it like Skyrim in space or Fallout in space? Because it's Bethesda game. And I don't think it's like that at all. It feels more like a No Man's Sky meets those, you know? Doesn't seem as buggy either, you know? The characters, like, voice acting seems top notch. I might walk in front of the lazy girl before I feel like talking to you. Come on, it's time. You're with me. this place shaking that ain't good we're getting close i think yeah everything is just <laughs> lynn seriously uh, there's something really effed up about this where is it hella through there i think okay you you're up something goes wrong in there we'll come get you uh <laughs> why would anything go wrong all right here we go not quite on our own yet but i'm excited to kind of um, see everybody's different play through with this game I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Do you see anything? Got something here. Take the strange object. All right. What could go wrong? Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Oh, we're creating a character. Nice. All right, Argos Extractors. We got biometric ID, body, face, background. We got trail. Wait, what is background? Uh, hold on. So it's like the presets, okay. We don't do too much customization. I in most games I I don't like to go too far in depth because <laughs> it's like I could be here for an hour. Th this guy's been waiting on Starfield his whole life. Hold on. Rotate around, I guess. Okay. Let's see what presets have actually got. We'll kind of go with the <laughs> fear the beard. All right. I need to see all the different ones they got. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me just go to 40 and just start going back a little bit. I'm just curious. Yo, wait a minute. Is this a guy from Stranger Things? Kind of. <laughs> uh, Alright. You know what? No. I'm just not sure. Like, 
I could be here for a long time. Maybe I just do a little cut edit. Maybe I take time and actually create a character. Put some time into it. But I, I'm just thinking about just going with like an actual default. You know what? I think... Where was the character at? Hold on. Let's just start. Let's start here. Okay. Uh, we got body type 1 and 2. Okay. Walk style. What is the different walk styles? Hold on. How would that change the gameplay, I wonder? Alright. Skin tone. Oh, let's see. Face. Oh, we got different... Okay. Head shape. It's pretty in-depth. Oh, it actually shows, like, thin, round, wide, square. Okay. Refine. Hair. Different hairstyles. I was going to try to make me, but I didn't see any that... I'm, like, super pasty. <laughs> I'm like a ghost, so it's fine. Um... I feel like the options are actually kind of cool. That was not bad. None that really... Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with... Uh, Probably this one for now. Hair color. Okay. Keep that the way it is. And as far as eyes go... Oh, it actually changes everything. Okay. Man, this game's graphics are really good. Now, I'm playing on PC. I know it's only on the Series S and X and on PC. So, I'm not sure how Xbox is. I know it was, like, locked at 30 FPS, which is one of, like, the main reasons I wanted to... This is the first one, I guess. All right. Oh, it goes all the way down. Nose, everything. I'm not going to change all this stuff. I could be here a long time. Even the teeth. That's actually crazy. I'll keep it there. All right. Background. This is what I wanted to check out. So you pick different things. All right. We got Beast Hunter. What is this? Fitness, ballistics, gastronomy. Okay. Bouncer. We got boxing, security, and fitness. Okay. I'm just going to read all these real quick. Uh, all right. Bounty Hunter. Piloting. Okay. Targeting control system. Boost pack training. We got chef is scavenging, gastronomy, and then dueling. Uh, let's just kind of go down each one. Hold on, what is gangster? <laughs> Shotgun certification boxing. Why is gangster theft? Hold on. Homesteader. Weightlifting. I'm guessing you can carry more. Yep. Or maybe that's what that is. I feel like that... Yeah, the weightlifting might be kind of nice. What does this other one say? Geology. Explore, we got lasers, and we're widespread, used across settled systems, okay? Diplomat. Wellness? Yeah, persuasion, interesting. Uh, medicine, security, lasers. Stealth. That kind of looks like Donatello with a purple pistol. <laughs> Being silly. Persuasion, that actually sounds like it'd be really good. Piloting, oh man. Long hauler. Okay, I kind of want weightlifting on one of these, but none of the other ones are really standing out. What is... Ronin, okay. Oh, we're actually towards the end. What is Fauna found? Interesting. Alright, so after going through all of these, I think the one I'm going to go with right now is Soldier. It just seems like... The boost pack training, ballistics, and fitness. Because the increased lung capacity sounds like it'd be really good. Alright, let's go with that one. What is Traits? Alien DNA. Wait, what is this? Increase health and oxygen. Okay. 125,000. Extrovert. What does this say? Combat effectiveness. Okay. Introvert. I think the alien DNA is kind of cool. I think I'll go with this one because, I mean, increased health and oxygen sounds pretty good. All right, I'm going to go with introvert. I think that's the one I was looking at. I was like, all right, use less oxygen when adventuring alone, which is kind of what I'm doing anyways. So, all right. I think we're good. Everything else is fine. Um, finish? Okay. Uh, go with my daughter's name. Clem. Unless I, do I need to do all caps? Hold on. Let's just do Clem. There we go. And then... Think we're good? And then... 
pronoun new character. All right, name character confirm. Here we go. You were a good find when we hired you. Former military always knows how to get the job done. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Uh, there was this light and music. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. All right, press mouse three. Yeah, first person, third person. Oh man, that's nice. Look at this. Think first person for now, but... Oh, that's cool. Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? Thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Whoa, you don't Not to them, bad. apparently. Client is here. Let's go. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. I'm assuming I actually have to go to the menu. Uh, select the helmets category. Okay. Here it is. Somebody told me that everything has to be done manually in this game. So if we get like a new weapon or a, I guess a space suit, we can only change it by going to the actual menu. There's not like a... Like in most games, a weapon will. You can like scroll up or down and it changes it or hit like one, two, three, four. Um, this game, you actually have to put it on at least as far as I know. There's our mass, which is our weight. We got credits. Here we go. My goodness. One small step, mission updated. Is there a ship? Oh, here we go. But as far as I got last night when I was messing around, I played it for a little bit, but I spent most of the time in character creation. Oh, med pack. Oh, wait, we can take this? So is this the same thing as a... Uh... Okay, so it did put it there. Damage is 11. Interesting. Also put it on, right? Oh, well, it's kind of nice. A ship design is really nice. What is this? Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new girl found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those. Minerals on Bendy? Kazan. And no, Barrett. Not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? Uh, you could call it that and find nothing to talk about. How would you know about that? Let's go to the first one. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. 
spirit. The scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? Oh, there it is. Hold off the pirates. What, the fight or what? Oh yeah, they're all getting set up. Gotta look out for these explosive canisters everywhere, okay? Our propane tanks. Are we just supposed to shoot and they hop off or are we gonna talk to them? I'm not even sure if I got anybody there. Let's do a little bit of damage. I like how they're using the, uh, the mining stuff. It's funny. Oh, you can actually loot them. Nice. Wait, they just left them here? Alright. Okay, I gotta get a little closer because I'm uh, missing a lot of shots here. Everybody, okay. Crit damage, interesting. Oh, we got a rifle. I almost don't have to do much here. They're all fighting. Rescue axe. Okay. Where are you going? All right, combat so far is actually kind of nice. Mouse and keyboard is definitely the way. Did you see Lynn? Ramp straight at those pirates like it was nothing. Of course Barrett was being followed. Now well, that was Every some fine time. work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Alright, uh, if they can tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Alright. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about... I stay, and I send your Dusty here in my place. I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Uh, thanks for everything, Lynn. No way. Not my job. But you can actually just choose not to go. Now that we've been attacked, oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Uh, thanks for everything, Lynn. Uh, yeah, let's do the first one. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. A watch, nice. Chronomark? Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now. Uh, why send me? Shouldn't you go? You're giving me your ship. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. 
Uh, I think we're good. I'm just gonna go ahead and just exit. And Vasco, don't let her break my ship. <laughs> I like Vasco already. So this is our ship now. Well, technically it wasn't his either, so it all worked out. Med pack, nice. Anything else? Here we go. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As there is much to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Ooh, first time in space! Shields ready. The rest is up to you. All right, get up, out of the seat, exit ship, or take off. Here we go. Gotta hold it down. Man, I'm so hyped right now. I want to see what space is like in this game. It's like a big mystery. I've kind of avoided all spoilers of this game. Oh, we're here. All right, we got left shift for boost. Okay, we got mouse one. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. All right, hold left alt. Allocate power, okay. You can skip the ship to tour by powering all, all systems, including grav drive, okay. All right, so left off. Man, this is nice. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. So you basically take one point from one. You got 14 total on the bottom left. The ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Alright, what's happening now? Can we just go anywhere? Or is that. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are that you is right. Here with ship combat tactics. What the world? That's a Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Oh, I kind of just got jumped right there. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. All right, ship combat is actually very smooth. All right, 15 XP for that. See, mean we can like loot them or something. Hold on. Congratulations on surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Nice. Are right, we stole whatever that was. I didn't get a good look. I wonder if, like, can you just go anywhere? Or is it just like you gotta pick a planet and stuff? Nothing's really happening, so Two more wait. Crimson fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. More? Wait a minute. Okay. One at a time. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta be careful. They're locked on. There we go, we got one. Might as well do like a drive by like the looting, I guess. 
Hey, we took it. All right, we're done with that one. What? Put up under me. Nice, let's go. Press tab to open the data menu, okay. Alright, travel between stars. Zoom out and see the entire star system. Oh, wow. Show resources. Show me. Uh, set landing. One small step still being done, okay. Let's well, sort of set core. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was this one. This is the right one. So we're going over here. And we're going to pick this. I wonder if it's like No Man's Sky where it shows us actually going into the actual planet or if it just transitions. We'll find out. Oh, I'm already... <laughs> I'm doing it over and over. Okay. Uh, clear routes. Oh, wait. So once you select it, you just go... There we go. Little learning curve there. We got it though. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Uh, let's just press tab again. Okay. I haven't seen skills yet. Okay. So we picked this and we're gonna land. Okay. Here we go. I like how everything's so new. You know, I don't know what to expect. Here we go. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Uh, get up, exit the ship. Here we go. Well, this is cool. <laughs> According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Probably should get out the mining equipment, right? I got the other ones too. Let's go ahead and use the cutter a little bit. So gravity here, look at this jump. All right, we're going down there. They say, kind of mentioned like pirates in there, so I don't really know what, if we're gonna fight again, if we can just go collect stuff, we'll find out. All right, scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Oh my God. How you doing? Not the most damage, but I'll take it. Got some tissue, okay. Or fiber tissue, really. <laughs> Not like actual tissue. This game's alright so far, I like it. I kinda wonder what the reviews are gonna be because I don't know if everybody's playthrough is gonna be the exact same or like do you always come to this planet? I don't know. Alright, first things first, I don't see any other like mining spots, so what I'm gonna do is put back on highest damage. Well, I'm not gonna go melee. It's only four damage, but I mean it's a it's a rifle. Uh, let's do this one again. I had fun with it. Fall damage? Tw 
20 XP. Okay, for what? <laughs> Just discovery? Interesting. Well, I actually closed it. Okay, let's go back. What is over here? Hold on. I really like Vasco a lot. It's kind of cool he's going to be with us. Just going to keep that open, I guess. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. So the looting is a lot like the Fallout stuff, but I feel like everything else is just truly a unique experience. No idea what that is. Okay, here we go. I don't want to just like pick up everything, so I might just try to only like collect things that fill or maybe like that will actually help us. Hammer, uh, what is, hold on. Oh, it's a book. Chapter one. Feel free to pause it. I would sit here and read that for a while, but it would take me way too long probably. Uh, empty chunks packaging. Notebook. All right. What is this purple? Wait, what? Did it just like shoot out of there? It's kind of creepy. All right. That's how that alien movie started, you know? Something small. <laughs> Might as well take that, whatever it is. Wait, document tray. Um. Hey, what are these? All right, so what happened here exactly? Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, what is, what is this? All right, so something bad is going down here. Type of ammo. So let's just try that. Oh, this gun's nice. Should have switched sooner, I guess. That's like zero recoil. Perks of playing on mouse and keyboard, I guess. We got so many rescue axes right now. Take those even if I don't really need it right now. I could sell one, I guess. Dinner plates. Yeah, there's so much stuff. 
I'm gonna collect everything, obviously, but... That's blocked off. Alright, here we go. How do we use these? Up. Wait, you press zero? Or you go to the menu? Zero? Might as well be print screen at that point. My goodness. That's funny. I've never seen zero be used in a game. Nice. Hey, we leveled up. Nice. Level up P. Okay. All this receive one skill point every time you level up. Okay. Uh, each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend someone to rank up the skill. Uh, we got physical. We can only choose fitness, which is, I guess, what we chose in the beginning. Okay, this is where it comes into play. Interesting. More oxygen. We didn't get any social ones yet. And what does this do? 10% more damage? Oh my goodness. What is tech gonna do? You know what? Here we go. Yeah, let's rake it up. If we can. Uh, we got- hold on. Let me just look at everything else. Oh, there's the shotgun certification, okay. I want to see if we can actually unlock it. Oh, we can. Nice. Okay. Well, I wanted that trait in the beginning anyway, so it all worked out. We're still in combat, though. Man, this gun is really nice. If they're a lot like this, we're in for it. What is this? Oh! <gasps> A laser gun? Peace is no longer a viable option. That was kind of weird. It like wouldn't let me aim. Okay. Is no longer Searching. How you doing? <laughs> what in the world? I could have shot that barrel, I guess. More health in here, nice. I'm on it. No one's getting through. Yo, let's try out that laser gun really quick. Where's it at? The Equinox. Alright. What if I hold it down or if it's like a rapid fire type? They 100 percent see my flashlight. But I don't want to turn it off because the video will then be too dark, you know? <laughs> Not bad. Oh, that's sick. Shoot like the weak points and it does that. So we're going up. Uh, Terra Morph Specimen. Xeno Warfare. Not much there, but I'll take. I'm detecting a safe nearby. Oh my god. Of whatever is in the case. And some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Fill in all the slots in every layer to open the lock. Interesting. Select a key and rotate it until. Gotta make it to where they all fit. Uh, it's probably. There. Okay.
I don't think this is gonna work. All right, let's keep it going. I feel like the lock pick can be easier once we level that up. Uh, let's click that. Maybe we should go ahead and top off my health too. There we go. That's a lot of stuff. Let me change my gun as well, because I felt like my voice is already cracking. What is this? A rip shake? Well, I have two. I probably should drop. The mass is getting pretty insane. Okay. Honestly, I think I'm just going to go with this one. I got plenty of ammo, at least. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Dialogue. Interesting. Okay. I could lie. We could try it, I guess. Oh, no, you see. We weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Persuade. Hmm. Like, what is the success rate on something like this, I wonder? You're not talking us out of this score. Our persuasion, uh, let's see. What a person you need to make successful choices. Kind words to distractions to threats. Oh, wow. Okay, uh... Really, auto persuades actually a thing. I'm not gonna try that. I kind of like this one. It's a little more aggressive. I kind of want to try plus five. That's uh, not a bad point. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing? Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. You can just fast travel up there? I kinda wanna like walk up there though. Since it's like our first time on this planet and everything. That's pretty cool, they let us go. I was ready to fight too. I was like, all right. <laughs> I don't want to fast travel too much because I felt like we already kind of fast traveled what? Onto the ship, out in the space, and now we did one thing here on this planet. Now we're leaving again. I don't know where you go from here. Sprinting melee attacks and jumping. Okay, O2. We got to be careful that bottom left hand corner. It's been a really good game so far. I don't know, like. I'm kind of wondering if it's more like a No Man's Sky where it's got many different ways to go about the whole game or if it's more of a structured type thing. I want to go sell some stuff though because I got a lot of extra like weapons and everything. the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry. This will all become second nature before too long. Here we go. Hey, appreciate sure like support you drop on this video. Really cool to see this thing do well. So we'll see how it goes. But I would love to do like a full series and just kind of do some crazy content for this game. Because I feel like there's so much potential here. Go to the tab really quick. All right, uh, select missions in the bottom section. Okay.
really? You can set the course to that. Grab jump. Here we go. This is so sick. Mining up post. New Atlantis is up here. Okay. into space for no reason. Yo, look at this area. This is awesome. Alright, talk to the ship services technician. Here we go. How you doing, sir? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Uh, let's see. You can modify it? Interesting. Where can I go if I need more crew from my ship? Interesting. I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Should I spend a thousand credits? I don't know. Sure. How about it? All right, here we go. We got Frontiers, our only ship right now. Ship one of one. Kind of just like pick whatever you want to upgrade. So you can upgrade the ship. Do we have anything? Okay, total. I don't have enough credits. It says vendor credits 72,000. I don't have that much. So yeah, a little bit behind. So, we'll come back to this later on. I think we're good. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. I had no idea it was going to land in an area that looked like this. This is really cool. What's the gravity here? Normal. Okay. New Atlantis. Capital of the United Colonies established 2161. Sanitation mini bot. Sergeant Yumi's looking for a reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. This place is huge, man. Okay. We're going the right way as far as I can tell. What about the water? Hold on. Water effects seem pretty good. Doesn't really change anything. So happy you can ledge grab. <laughs> Without that, it'd be tough times. As far as frame rate, the game runs very smooth. Now, I'm playing on PC. I got a 3090, 5950X Ryzen, I think it is, is my CPU. And, I mean, I'm running everything on, like, ultra and high settings. I got a few things disabled, like the motion blur, film grain, stuff like that. But, overall, the game runs pretty steady. I think it's 60 FPS, and it sometimes may dip below that. But, better than playing at 30, I feel like. I just couldn't go back to that, I feel. It's funny I can just have my gun out. Can I shoot it here, too? No one bats an eye. All right. It's kind of odd. <laughs> here we are. 
the lodge. The Location the discovered. The door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. And a watch does everything then, okay. Captain, everyone will be in the library. Just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Uh, Pirates Attack, Beric uh, asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Uh, there's bright lights and music. I mean, that's really all we saw. I'm actually going to ask this bottom one. I'm curious. We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Thing almost killed me. Let's go with this top one. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience with less embellishment. Are you right. hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proof. Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but... What are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Alright, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. Let's see. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Uh, score on each one, I guess. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Fair enough, but you need a place to stay in the city, right? Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. You got a jetpack or what? All right, let me level up. These skills going 
Alright, so why couldn't I upgrade this with the C? I gotta use it. Okay, so once you get to that first rank, use up all oxygen 20 times. Okay. That's why the fitness one... I feel like this might be the most crucial. So let's just get all the different ones we want. Okay. We got that. What about these other ones? Laser. Uh, 10% more damage. What about science? Hold on. Ten additional health, ten percent faster. Okay. What about tech? Uh, we got this boost pack. This is actually one of my default things as well. Interesting. Piloting, ship thrusters. Okay. Hack advanced locks. Ooh, security. I don't feel like stealth is really. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Hold on, let's get this health one first. That's big time. Okay. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I kind of want to ask about the artifacts, and then we'll do the I'm ready. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. I kind of like how the game has an actual, like, story that it's following as well, so you can either, like, get lost in space, or you can do this. I like this a lot. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. I'm just going to ask all these because I'm extremely curious what's going on. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I understand. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. Alright, so we actually... Well, I didn't get a chance to do the other one. Hold on, she's running away from me. Just to get back in spot, that's funny. Ready to get out there? Alright, let's get it. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. What is that? Hold on. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. I'm just gonna ask all these again. Alright, here we go. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself. And for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Uh, I'll be locked as a follower if you... Oh! We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. 
Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Ah, uh, see. Yes. Yeah, Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? All right, we're getting the tour. Let's go. Active companion and your crew. I wonder, because I chose a lot of different options there. at your service, Captain. Like, I wonder if if I hadn't done the dialogue, she wouldn't have been my follower at that point, right? So there's more of these pieces. All right, she's with us. Here we go. Or maybe it's supposed to happen like that. I'm not really sure. I don't know what's scripted and what's not. All right, she's chilling. Man, look at this place. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Investigate brownouts in the well. Okay. We're going over here. Can we can we scale this area? Hold on. I gotta admit, this game is definitely taking me by surprise. I was not expecting it to be as good as it is. I feel like obviously people were like pretty hyped about it because it's like you know fallout success skyrim success this is like a brand new thing hey yeah, can i just hop down there hold on good day man we'll go around i'm assuming if i do this it'll show the path say go back this way okay the more you know i guess this game has a pretty in-depth system as far as like Okay, that's the holster. Nice. Now which way is it? So you go. I didn't see anything. I think I'm supposed to go down. Can we hop over the edge right here? I guess you can pretty much go anywhere you want. Uh oh. Wait, can you actually get in the water? Hold on, hold on. Gaining CO2 in full, you will take damage instead. Okay, let me just wait a second. That makes sense. Stop sprinting everywhere, I guess. And that's how I'm leveling up to other things, so I'm kind of like using this as much as I can. Hold on. Loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies League. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. All right. Uh, you see Vanguard. Here we go. Sarah. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later we have Constellation Business to discuss first. You can actually just join up. That's funny. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. I'll see. Hey, vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? Easy there, John. We all have our saw points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right. I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Uh, all your help. Okay, yeah. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. Oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Alright. We're good to go. 
Wait, where did this person just go? They just vanished. Alright, here we go. It's been a really good game so far. Still part one, by the way. I don't know how long this first video is going to be. Might stop here in a minute. We'll see. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft. And yet, I still get sick on the nat. Man, this, this game is so well designed. I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. How far away is that? 150 something. Okay. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's behind that. That's yes, whatever. Let's keep it moving. We can actually just sprint over there. Every time I sprint, I'm actually leveling up the other thing. Security scanners, chemical snippers. Mm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Uh, talk to the bartender at viewpoint. Alright, ship's inventory. Alright. We're just taking off. That's it. Here we go. Mission list really quick. Okay. All right. So the actual like main mission is this one. All right. B. Sean map. Oh my goodness. All the way over here. Here we go. funny going to Mars. Okay, here we go. Time to land. The red planet. Let's get it, baby. All right, that's it for part one. We just got to Mars. I cannot wait to see what they do with it. So, all right, love you all. If you want more of this game, quickly just destroy the like button. I'll see how the first video does in the first 24 hours and kind of go from there. But for now, I love you and take it easy. Peace.